Dr. Tim Ball, an historical climatologist, sent me a sentence, one sentence, which I think is, is beautiful to end this particular topic if you want to go on to others. He said, you can mention that it was warmer than today for at least 95% of the last 10,000 years. That's what he said. You know, I hope people watching this get the idea that there's a lot of data on the other side that we're all fighting to get in pieces of data because there's so much to say. And I just want to read something that they should read this at the Climate Summit. I, I think they should really read this today to describe what's going on. And, and this is from a reliable source, American Meteorological Society Monthly Weather Review publication, that the Arctic Ocean is warming up. Icebergs are growing scarcer, and in some places the seals are finding the water too hot, according to a report by the Commerce Department at Bergen, Norway. Reports from fishermen, sea hunters, explorers all over point to radical change in climate conditions. Why aren't they reading this? Uh, and hitherto unheard of temperatures in the Arctic zone, exploration expeditions re uh, report scarcely any ice as far north as 81 degrees. Soundings show the Gulf Stream very warm. Masses of ice have been replaced by moraines of earth and stones. And it goes on and on. Within a few years, it's predicted that due to the ice melt, the sea will rise and make most coastal cities uninhabitable. What year was that written? Oh, oh, that's right. I'm sorry. This is, <laughs> this is 1922. Uh, this is November 1922. And this is real. This is not urban legend. Yeah. This has really happened. This was really reported. It was warm then. And, and then guess what happened after that? Of course, it cooled off and and uh, so I just the had to throw that. Review, one of the Monthly month Weather Review. Meteorological Society yeah. publication. These were all facts. It was yeah. extremely warm back then in the polar regions. And well. Tom mentioned 90%, was 90 percent of the time since the Ice Age, the Earth was warmer than it is now. Actually, 90 percent of the time since creation, the Earth was warmer than it is now because the geological evidence indicates that over all of geologic history, 4.65 billion years, somewhere between 5 and 10 percent of that time, was there any substantial ice on Earth? And now there is. There's Greenland, Antarctica, and then summer ice all over the planet, well, lots of places. So yeah. you're talking 5 or 10% of the time was the planet cooler than it is now. Yeah, and just to add to that, we're at one of the lowest levels of CO2 in Earth's history. Okay, yes. that's, that's really Very important. Good point. I mean, 440 million years ago, when we were in the depths of the coldest period in the last half billion yeah. years, we had 1,100% of today's CO2 levels, according to geologic proxies. So <laughs> Yeah, 
yeah, CO2 is very low right now. They say 40% rise in the last century since 1880. Well, that's peanuts in natural terms. Yeah. So we should be very. Glad wasn't there a carbon effort? Carbon dioxide in this room <laughs> is now uh, around 900. Now, either we should be happy about it or perhaps evacuate the room uh, for fear that there's something bad about it. There's nothing bad about carbon dioxide. The more, the better.